This is the ministry of God's love, compassion and mercy, taking the gospel to huge multitudes with signs, wonders and miracles. Though based in Dubai with 16 services for a week, as founder and senior pastor of King's Revival Church International, Pastor Dil Kumar continues to bring the message of God's love around the world, receiving salvation, miracles, healings, as God comes and wipes the tears of the broken heart and fills them with life and life in abundance in Jesus' name. Miracle Moments Healing and Blessing Festivals in many nations draw crowds to a million to receive the love of God and be healed by His power. Miracle School for Healing and Wholeness teaches and imparts and raises God's servant as fathers to minister in the fruit and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Our Miracle Moment TV programs are seen worldwide taking the gospel with signs, wonders and miracles instantly following God's word. We also run children's home for orphans, homeless kids and take care of widows destitute in different countries. Beside these, we pioneer and oversee and support many missionary churches and nations. The books authored by Pastor Dill such as Jesus Christ Heals You Right Now, True Anointing and Gifts of the Holy Spirit, Miracle Life in Abundance, Miracle Life Now and Forever, Your Miracle in the Kingdom of God are available on request. Our magazine names, signs, wonders and miracles are widely circulated with credible documented healing and miracle testimonies, praise reports. Our website www.yourmiraclelife.com I email God's love at yourmiraclelife.com Please be in touch with us for any prayer requests. He will certainly bless you and grant you the needed miracle in your life in abundance. God really loves you. Pastor, for 10 years, this brother had suffered from an itching condition on the lower part of his body. But tonight during the service, it's all gone in Jesus' You feel name. fine, son. For 10 years you had this. You feel fine, son. Completely fine. Lift your hand to Jesus. Who healed this loving son? Who healed this dear son? Lift your hand and say thank you to Jesus. That's not enough, church. Shout aloud and say thank you to Jesus. Jesus is setting you free. Robert, Robert, God is setting you free now. Jesus is setting you free now. Jesus is healing, Robert. Jesus is setting you free now. The Lord is setting you free. This is Robert. Uh -huh. His name has just been called by the Holy Spirit. He came with a headache and that headache has left him when his name was called. You are Robert's son and you came with a headache and it's gone. When the name was called, it just went off. Lift your hand to Jesus. Who healed his dear son? Who healed his dear son? Called his name and healed him. Is Jesus alive in this church? There, there are people who have been healed from back pain. Who has not testified? Back pains, vertebra, spinal back pains and hip pains and loin pains have gone away from your body. Examine yourself. Bend down. Move yourself. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Pastor, she's the one with the back pain and Come. the Lord Jesus has healed her tonight. Came with the back pain, child. You can bend down and show me that you are fine. You can go behind and show me. All the back pain is gone, child. Completely gone. You feel fine now. Lift your hand to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, three weeks he has been having body itching and today is completely healed. All the itching and everything is gone, son. You feel fine, child. Lift, oh, bless you, son. Lift your hands to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus. Who healed this dear child? Who healed this dear child? Everyone say Jesus. Pastor, for three weeks she's been having pain in her right leg and Jesus has healed her of the pain. In your right leg, where about, child? From the hip downwards, you can move your leg. Because that's not, that's just sweeping the ground. Give a shot to me, that's fine. Huh? Oh, that's fine. Bless you, child. Lift your hands to Jesus. Come, he son. came with pain on the right shoulder and the Lord has healed him completely. Move your shoulders, son. Oh. Uh, aiming at me now, huh? <laughs> Bless you. Who healed this dear? Best smile on the face of this earth tonight. 
lift your hand to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus. Sir, come, sir. Pastor, two months of shoulder pain is completely healed tonight. Two months, sir. You can move your hand up and down. All the pain is gone. Lovely, 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 lovely. Bless you, child. Who healed this dear son? Who healed this dear son? He has two testimonies. For three weeks, he's been having uh, pain on the ankle. The Lord has healed him completely. He came with a headache, and the Lord has also healed him of the headache. Headache is gone, son. And the pain which replaced your ankle, you can remove your shoes and pain it. It doesn't pain at all now. All the pain is gone. Ankle and headache also gone. Who, lived, who healed this dear boy? Who healed this little boy? Who healed this little son? Everyone say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, for the past three years, he had a severe knee pain. Without this support, he couldn't stand well. But today, the Lord has healed him completely. You removed it, son. You, let, me, let me take you. It's all gone. You are wearing this. Now you can walk with me. You can do like this. Everything. You don't need this at all. Thank you, Jesus. Come here, son. Lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor, for one month, she had a pain on her ribs. Could not mm. bend down. She had a pain to bend down. And also, the Lord has healed her, her knee, which was paining for one week. The knee was paining, child, for one week. And you had a pain on your ribs. It's all gone now. Completely gone. You're happy about it? Huh? Can you move your body, my child? Can you bend down, my daughter? All the pain is gone, child. Completely gone. It, you had it on your ribs and your leg my daughter your leg had a problem where did you have the problem you can move your leg freely child you couldn't move it before now you can you can move it further he loves you lift your hand to Jesus would you be free from your burden of sin. Sing it, daughter, sing it, child. Yes, Lord, Jesus loves you. Oh, Jesus loves you. Do we a victory when he loves you? There is wonderful power in the blood. Hebrews 2, 16, 17, 18. Hebrews 4, verse number 16. Hebrews 5, verse number 7. Oh, the same Jesus, my loving God. He is the same unchanging Jesus. He feels for your pain. He feels for your agony. He feels for your sorrow. He feels for your tears. That is why we preach this loving God all the time. He is man, now God forever. He is God. 
God who came as man. Oh, my loving Savior. He has flesh and bones that you and I have. He shed his holy blood for a sinner like me and you. He feels for your pain. I will be with you. My, that is why my loving children, is he groans in the spirit. He's not a machine. He's not the press of a button. He's not a programmed software. My darling children, he's God who came as man, as man glorified, son of man, seated at the right hand of the Father, who has all power in heaven and earth. Matthew 28, verse 18. Romans 1, verse number 4. 1 Corinthians 2, 14. He is the very power of God. John 17, verse 2. He has all power over all flesh. He feels for every tear. You may be alone crying. You may be alone staggering at the promises of God. You may be alone wondering why, why I am suffering when I have got all the promises. Why am I crying? Why am I suffering? Why am I alone? Bo Abraham staggered not at the promises of God, but he knew what he has promised. God is also faithful to perform it. He loves you when you are alone. You may say everyone is accusing you, harassing you. My darling children, the one who is with you will comfort you. He is the Holy Spirit. He is the God of all comfort. He lives in you and me. He is the greatest power of God. He lives in you and me to comfort you, to cheer you up, to give you the compassion of Jesus, to give you the comfort of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is here in you and me to give you the power to overcome every hindrance, every obstacle, every trial, every trouble, every trauma, the defeated devil could place over your life. There is a comforter who will say, I will battle for you. There is a comforter who will say, I will give you the victory that Jesus has won for your sake and my sake. Oh, Jesus said, Holy Spirit will take the victory and give it to you. John 6 verse 14 and verse 15. John 16 verse 14 and verse 15. Jesus said, Holy Spirit will take from me and give it over to you. My darling children, why do you worry? Why do you place your dependence on money? Why do you place your dependence on men and people? Why do you place your dependence on your own mind? Your money or men or mind 3M. Cancel it today. Mind. Oh, your intelligence, intellect and information or men or friends or what they say or what they advise. No, my dearest children, oh, not money, not your mind, not men, but the mercy of God, but the mercy of God, but the mercy of the Father, but the mercy of the Son, Jesus Christ, but the mercy of the Holy Spirit, my loving children. How many of you will believe him? He says, faithless generation, why do you not believe why do you not believe? Why do you not believe? Why do you not believe what Jesus has said in his word and what he has done for you and me? He loves you. 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 My child, he loves you. Before anything gets worse, he will come to deliver you. He is here already through his Holy Spirit. He is here already even in his personality. He can come with his glorious body. He is here. No one may natural. That's why with natural mind or natural eyes we may not see him. He is supernatural glorious God. In his body he can come. He, oh, he is unrecognizable unless he opens our natural eyes. He is here already. He loves you. And he asks something from the Father. How long has it been with you? How long? My Bill, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Oh, his love. He said, you don't have to suffer anymore. Here he comes and gives hope to the Father. He groans to comfort us. He gives hope to us. He gives hope to us. He gives hope to us. My son, my daughter, your tears are going to be wiped away. Come to me now. He is giving faith to the Father now. He is giving faith to the Father now. Bring him to me now.
all these years. Bring him to me now. Don't be disappointed that people have not helped you. Don't be disappointed that money has not worked. Don't be disappointed that people didn't show any sympathy on you. Don't be disappointed that your mind and your intelligence did not give anything good for you. Don't be disappointed, child. He is here to help us in our weaknesses. He is here to lift us in our weaknesses. He says, come to me now. Come to me. Don't be discouraged that no one no one's prayer was answered don't be discouraged don't be disappointed Jesus is telling you and me come to him lift your hand and say Lord I'm coming to you lift your hands and say Lord I'm coming to you 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 if you go to people you will be disappointed when you come to Jesus you will delight yourself he told the father, come to me. He was giving hope now. He was giving faith. It's not over. There's going to be a miracle for you. It's not over. Even though it took long years, it's not over. I'm going to do the miracle for you. I waited till you really came to me. I waited till you not to go to friends also and Jesus. Not to go to money also Jesus. Not to go for other help also Jesus. No. He wants you and I to cut off everything and come to him with all our heart, our mind. That's why he waits. Come to me. He's calling you and me. Come to him. With all your burdens, come to him. With all your disappointments, come to him. With all your sicknesses, come to him. With all your failures, come to him. With all what? All the negative thoughts, come to him. With all fear, Come to him. With all your sins, come to him. He is the savior. He loves you. He says, come to me. He's giving faith and hope to that father. Now, they brought him to him. And when he saw him, when the defeated devil afflicted boy or possessed boy saw him, immediately the spirit convulsed him and he fell on the ground and he wallowed, foaming at the mouth. The defeated devil, when he sees a true anointing, he can't be there. He'll pull the boy up and down and did all kinds of things because the defeated devil knows his time is up. He has to leave. Even now, as the great Holy Spirit and me declare this living gospel, the defeated devil who has troubled your life, maybe your moral character has been ruined. Maybe your finances have been robbed. Maybe your faith has been disturbed. Maybe your peace has been destroyed. Maybe your body has been afflicted with sicknesses. Today, when the great Holy Spirit and this little man bring this great gospel, you know what's happening? The defeated devil is leaving already. From every avenue of your life, from every area of your life, fearful thoughts are leaving right now. Oh, distresses and discouragements are leaving right now. Depressions are leaving right now. My loving children, you are going to rise up and live rejoicing in Jesus' name. The truth of God's love and power with signs, wonders and miracles instantly happening is now released on this new book entitled Because I Live, You Shall Live Also. This book is a miracle life changing Holy Spirit inspired truth. Email us on God's love at your miracle life.com. Again, God's love at your miracle life.com and get this book for free. Send us your prayer requests. Send it to us on our new website, yourmiraclelife.com. And our new email, God's Love at yourmiraclelife.com. Also, your testimonies of praise reports of miracles that God has done for you. Even now, send it to us. We will praise God with you at our new email, God's Love at yourmiraclelife.com. And remember, our new website, yourmiraclelife.com. God loves you. Jesus loves you. My beloved child, your sicknesses and your ailments and your symptoms are leaving now.
before even a man can put his hand on you. The great Holy Spirit in Jesus' name is working in you right now. My dearest child, scratching and itching and worrying and psoriasis is leaving now in Jesus' name. Every defect in your body is leaving now in Jesus' name. Oh, my dear children. And he asked his father, how long has this been happening to him? I asked Jesus, maybe God gives you some other answers. But he told me personally through his voice. As I asked him, Lord, why did you ask this question? How long did it happen to him? He said, the father said from childhood, I asked Jesus. And the Lord said, my son, before I give him the miracle, I wanted to establish an enduring relationship with him. God wanted to be a part of his pain. Jesus wants to be a, he's not a robo or a press of a button or a machine or a programmed software. He's your savior and your Lord. He's your friend and your healer. He wants to be part of your pain. He wants to be part of your problem. He wants to be part of your sorrow. He said, I will be with you in your difficulty. I will be with you in your trouble. And I will deliver you and honor you. With long life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. He's a God who is living with emotions, with pain, feelings of pain for your sorrow. He could just at the the slip of a finger do miracles but he's God who came as man he, he knows your pain and your struggle and your weaknesses he's never to condemn you he didn't say oh you are demon possessed family you, are a, you have a generation curse and you have a hereditary disease all this nonsense he didn't talk servants of God hear me as I preach the gospel of Jesus he didn't frighten the father you know your great great grandmother had this do you know that the poor boy will suffer further. The father will say, oh, please, I don't want to hear anymore. Just tell the people the good truth. Jesus is here for you now. Just wipe away all the tears of the people in Jesus' name. You, have, you and I have been given authority to cast out every defeated devil and not to frighten the people. My loving children, they are already frightened. They are already scared. The father is weeping. Jesus didn't go on to say, he's told that to establish a relationship that I am one of you. I am from the Father. I know the pain that you have. How long did you suffer? He said, from childhood. Jesus felt the pain. From childhood, such suffering in the home. From childhood, such sorrow in the home. From childhood, such pain in the home. Jesus felt it all. He has felt it all on your sake and my sake. Are you going to come to this Jesus tonight? Don't go to any man, any preacher, any pastors. We are worth nothing. There is one person worth every goodness and glory and honor and praise and worship. When you come to this table, you are coming to Jesus. You are coming to Jesus. You can be anyone here. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. When he said from childhood, my beloved, oh, Jesus said, if you believe, all things are possible to him who believes. That's all he told him. He didn't say there's a black magic on your family. They have put it under the mango tree and thrust it under the banana leaf. Oh, these are the modern day preachers now. My dear children, my oh, your grandfather chewed some beetle and they put some black magic into that and it has come into your family. Oh, nonsense they preach. God bless lovely preachers. But he says, if you believe, all things are possible. That's all. He gave him the hope and the faith. Don't be troubled, my child. Don't be troubled that you have carried this burden. It is going now in Jesus' name. Every your financial burden, your employment burden, your physical burden, your emotional burden, your family burden, all goes now in Jesus' name. As I declare, God does it, my beloved. Oh, he has declared it already. I repeat what my Savior has declared. I repeat what my Father has declared. I repeat what my Savior has accomplished. There is nothing new in me. There is nothing inherent good in me. But what he has done, I declare to you. You are healed. 
you are set free by the stripes of Jesus of Nazareth. You don't need further prayer more than this word. Whose prayer is better than the word of God? No man, no preacher can claim prayer is better than the word of God. That is why I insist you, my darling beloved, to be in church services. Oh, my loving children, where the living word is preached. He loves you. He loves you. The father said with tears because he has never seen such compassion. He has never seen such understanding. He has never seen such mercy. He did not condemn him. Oh, you are all sinners. Your caste is this. Your culture is this. Never. He said, if you believe, all things are possible. The father said, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. That means, Lord, I believe now that you are my savior. You are my healer. You are my provider. You are my protection. You are my provision. You are my peace. You are my joy. You are my hope. You are my faith. You are my life. You are my healing. You are my wholeness on this earth. You are my long life of abundance on this earth until rapture in midair. And you are my eternity in heaven in my father's mansions. You are all all that I could ever desire for on this earth and in heaven. This is what I didn't believe, God. Help my unbelief. Forgive my unbelief. Lord, I believe. Forgive my unbelief. The moment he declared that, the Bible says what Jesus said. He said, deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. Immediately, the defeated devil tossed him, threw him on the ground, and the whole and the Holy Bible declares it was as though he was dead. Jesus stretched his hand and lifted him up and gave him to his father, alive, healed, and whole. My loving children, this is the same Jesus who is here right now. You are going to live healed and whole. Your home is going to be blessed and have life and life in abundance. Signs, wonders and miracles. 12th edition ministry magazine. Documented reports of amazing outstanding miracles and real life healing testimonies and great revival all across the globe. Such as a man instantly raised to life from 25 days coma. A crippled young girl with crutches instantly healed and many more healing testimonies. Email us on God's love at your miracle life.com. Again, email us on God's love at your miracle life.com and get this book free. Send us your prayer requests. Send it to us on our new website, yourmiraclelife.com and our new email God's love at yourmiraclelife.com Also your testimonies of praise reports of miracles that God has done for you even now send it to us we will praise God with you at our new email God's love at yourmiraclelife.com and remember our new website yourmiraclelife.com God loves you. Jesus loves you.